This dialogic reading level three activity was implemented by teacher Patricia Aglagi at Stretch to Kindergarten at the Family Engagement Institute at Foothill College. The activity focused on children demonstrating their knowledge of new words and understanding of the story by recreating the story parts on paper. The children drew and wrote about the parts of the story and the teacher placed their productions in order and scrolled them onto a long paper tube. The activity consisted in retelling the story together as they watched the movie um, onto a cinema display constructed on cardboard. Level 3 centers on children becoming the storytellers by describing the story in their own words, making connections with their own lives, and sharing similar experiences related to the topic in the story. Yeah. Do you ever go to the mountains in the snow? Oh, I, Do you ever make I a snow sculpture of yourself? Yeah. Marcos, what would your snow sculpture look like? Like, 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 a, like, a, um, like Anthony. You'd make yours look like Anthony? Oh. And I'd make mine look like Marcos. Would yours have, would Anthony have make... glasses? <laughs> Remember how we had our bud? Oh, what? And what happened to the bud? Mm -hmm. And opened up. Can you tell me something that you couldn't do that you can do now? I couldn't. How about we start with Anthony? Let's start with Anthony. I couldn't. Um, I couldn't make a snowman, but now I can. So you 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 grew and made a snowman. So you. I made a little snowman like this little. That's cute. That's good, isn't it? How about you, Marco? I couldn't do. Is there something you couldn't do that you can do now? I couldn't write my name. Then. A lot of us in TK couldn't write our name, huh? I couldn't draw. For my brother is only four, so he could just do that. He just practices. That sometimes that's all it takes is to practice, huh? The ultimate goal for level three in the dialogic reading framework is to help children become storytellers and share their own experiences both at school and at home. Through distancing questions, teachers can encourage children to think of other contexts and use new vocabulary and longer phrases to narrate events. Please download the handout titled Doing What Works Sample Material, Preparing a Dialogic Reading Lesson. This handout is available in the Resources section tab under Module 2. This handout illustrates how teachers can plan for um, different levels for one same story and make connections across the levels in um, supporting all learners in understanding the parts of a story, the new vocabulary, and ultimately owning the story. This document highlights how teachers can plan for um, uh, the critical elements outlined in the three levels uh, focusing on level one, two, and three with the ultimate goal of um, children owning the story and being able to retell the story in their own words. It's important to think about how to use stories throughout the year. And um, these questions might be helpful in thinking about that planning process to make sure that books are uh, connected and build on experience and build on in, in terms of complexity of the text and the vocabulary um, used throughout the year. So think about when would you incorporate the very hungry caterpillar into your dialogic reading practice during the year? How complex is the story, the text, the plot? And think about the rationale for using this story mid-year or end of the year. It's important to connect with families and dialogic reading is a great way to build on that practice from school to home. Uh, one great technique to use with families and to share with them is um, a strategy called follow the car. F stands for follow the child's lead, C for comment and wait, A ask questions and wait, and R respond by adding a little more and wait. 
If you would like to extend your learning for level three, you can visit the Doing What Works website and watch Dr. Lonigan's interview by, by following this link. Take the next few minutes to complete this short self-reflection titled Supporting All Learners Through Dialogic Reading. This self-reflection is useful to support your practice as you engage in dialogic reading practices in your classroom.